What do the thoughts and feelings of your loneliness have to do with the supposed traits of how bison run towards storms? Well, you're about to find out over the next few minutes. Yuma, and welcome to Connection Espresso. I'm Phil McAuliffe, I'm the loneliness guy, and this is Espresso 20. This is a mini podcast designed to give your mind, your heart, and your soul a quick connection boost as you, a beautiful gay man experiencing loneliness, go about your day. So let's get to it. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Connection Espresso 20. It's great to have you here. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a chat about running towards the storm. Um, so wherever you are in the world, I just want to say hi, welcome, g'day, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm really glad that you're here. All right, let's get into it. As with each Connection Espresso, I want to first pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, past, present and emerging, and acknowledge them as the traditional custodians of the land upon which this episode was recorded and uploaded. I want to extend that acknowledgement to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples listening. Secondly, as always, I want to acknowledge you, dear espresso drinker, be you listening through a podcast service or watching on YouTube. I want to recognise the courage you have shown in pressing play on this episode because Let's be honest, and we're always honest here at The Loneliness Guide, you don't look for content on loneliness unless you recognise that you're feeling lonely. This is a big step. And I want to say that I see you and I recognise your courage. I recently saw a TikTok video, there's the disclaimer, that really resonated with me and has, well, struck uh, stuck with me. The video spoke about how bison, when they detect an approaching storm, supposedly turn to face the storm and then run towards it. They supposedly do this because running towards the storm is the best way to shorten its duration. Running away from the storm means that they run with the storm, making the unpleasantness of the storm last longer. Now, quick note. You may have noticed that I'm saying supposedly a lot. I'm not an expert on bison by any definition of the term or any stretch of the imagination. And a quick Google search shows that either this whole bison running towards a storm or staying still and turning towards it is either an urban myth or an absolute fact. Either way, this is not about bison. It's about the metaphor for how you approach the thoughts and feelings of your loneliness. Because without doubt, Experiencing loneliness is horrible. There's very little to say about loneliness being fun or something to look forward to. But like a change in the weather, loneliness is inevitable in your life. All, lo all humans experience loneliness and you're no exception. But there's power in knowing that you can choose your response to loneliness when it inevitably happens. Do you run? Indeed, are you running away from it? That running away from it could look like a lot of things. It could be drinking, partying, working, sex, shopping, travel, exercise, anything that you use to numb uncomfortable thoughts and feelings and distract you from them. But just like the storm, your loneliness always catches up with you, always catches up with you. And when it does, it catches up with you when you're tired and you're exhausted and you don't have the energy to deal with it, nor do you have the tools to cope with it. The only tools you know how to use are the ones that you've been using to avoid it. And like any storms or any other kind of unpleasant weather, Loneliness happens in your life. Perhaps it's best to develop some strategies to cope through the tough times while the weather is good and you're not feeling lonely. That way, when the clouds of loneliness start to build and you notice that the weather is beginning to turn, you can confidently turn and move towards the storm, knowing that this will reduce the duration of the storm and you've got some kick-ass tools to weather it. 
the whole bison running towards a storm thing is a great metaphor, isn't it? But I want to be clear. As a global loneliness thought leader and an expert on loneliness and connection, I can support you as you create your tools and sharpen your skills to weather your inevitable storms of loneliness. Your tools and skills are part of your connection plan. Your connection plan is the result of the connection starter course that I provide you. And all you need to do to get your plan and start the course and build the tools and learn how to use them is to take the first step and engage my services. There's a link in the episode description and you simply need to tap your screen a few times. The rest we'll do together. I know what it's like to be a gay man experiencing loneliness. I promise you that the whole sitting in the discomfort for a few moments, or to further the metaphor, running towards and through the storm can bring such joy and connection afterwards, like the great weather that follows a storm. I've been where you are, and I can help you and support you. So let's get you your connection plan to help you through move through life in a more content way. That's it for this espresso. And it's also the final espresso for 2022. I'm gonna be taking a short break over the festive season and into January to enjoy some time with the family over the summer holidays. So there'll be no fresh content for a few weeks, but before you fret, there's still 19 other Connection Espressos, 52 episodes of Connection Over po Coffee podcast, and 52 blog posts, all at thelonelydisguy.com to support you. And I'm also still available to take some mentoring calls during this time. I'm not far away from you. But be sure to check out all my work and services, destigmatizing loneliness and promoting authentic connection for gay men globally, for gay men like you, through my website, thelonelydisguy.com. And this is social media world, so please like, comment, and share this episode so it reaches more gay men experiencing loneliness and lets them know, just as you now know, that they're not alone when they're experiencing loneliness. And if this episode inspired you, made you think, or otherwise supported you, please tap the link in the show notes to buy me a coffee. Your financial contribution will go directly to growing the loneliness guy and help it reach more gay men. I thank you in advance for your generosity and support. Thank you for joining me for this espresso shot and all of the espresso Connection Espressos for 2022. Until next time, take care of yourself and let's run towards the storm together. Yada, and enjoy your day. Thank you, YouTube. I'll see you next time. Uh, see you next year. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Happy New Year. And um, yeah, let's do more in 2023. I'll see you later.